Hello and welcome to the Luxury Hybrid channel where I love to have discussions about life, beauty and fashion. My philosophy is if you combine it all, you can have it all without having to spend it all. Friends and family call me Didi and I hope that you will too. Today is a competition. It is the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 against the Marc Jacobs Leather Mini Tote. I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison showing you what they fill how they compare and how they differ. Really quickly, let me know in the comments below which bag would you pick after you watch this comparison? I'm curious to know your opinion. I'm going to insert pictures that I took of the measurements that I took of each bag because right off the bat, the measurements are about the same, give or take a millimeter here or there. That's including the handle drop, the length, the width, and the height. Let's start off with where they're compatible. They both have top handles. If you get the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 in the bandoulier style, then you can consider that both of them do have shoulder straps that are both removable. They are both equipped with an interior slit pocket and they both open to just be one big wide compartment on the inside. And given this much space, you can carry almost anything you need for a school or a work day or a mom day. It's quite safe to say that I no longer carry these many items in my handbags anymore. But for the sake of comparing the Marc Jacobs tote bag against the Speedy 25 or the Speedy 25 Bandelier, I am going to show you how each fits. I'm starting off with a Louis Vuitton Toiletry 19, a Louis Vuitton Toiletry 15, a Louis Vuitton Agenda in the PM size, a Louis Vuitton round coin purse. This is actually one of my favorite SLGs, but my very first favorite SLG is my Louis Vuitton six key holder with my key fob attached. I have a travel size Louis Vuitton scent and this scent happens to be in the tuberose. I have my Chanel hand cream, my Hermes coin purse, which I actually use these days to carry tissues. Can't stand when the plastic of the tissue has that little reusable sticky thing gets stuck on everything else except the container. So this is how I carry tissue these days. I also have a card holder, then everyone's favorite brand, Michael Kors. This is a pretty substantial size sunglass case and I think that um, it's slim enough yet realistic enough to put in a handbag of these sizes. Before I completely seal the deal, these are all of the items that are fitting quite comfortably inside of the Marc Jacobs tote bag. And I am now placing the sunglass case on the top and zipping up the bag and everything fits. And inside of the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25, I'm going to try to get as much light as I can to show you that I have everything inside here. I will unpack the bag. Both have considerably noticeable branding and both are somewhat connected to Marc Jacobs given his history as creative director for Louis Vuitton. Now let's talk about where they differ. First and foremost, it's the obvious price tag. They are hundreds of dollars apart. Okay, so my jaw almost hit the floor when I compared the prices. The Marc Jacobs Leather Mini Tote is $375, whereas the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25, not including the bandoulier style, is $1,140 as of today. That's a lot of coin, a lot. Now, of course, keep in mind, I'm comparing the Leather Mini Tote to the canvas style. But if you were looking at an epi leather, that could cost you upwards of hundreds more. Now, as I mentioned, I am comparing the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 in the coated canvas. So that is one of the major differences when you compare it to the Marc Jacobs leather mini tote. I've noticed that there's more flexibility with the top handles just for the simple fact that they're able to buckle downwards. Whereas the Marc Jacobs leather mini tote, the handles are just upwards in a stationary position. The Marc Jacobs leather mini tote also has a very rectangular shape as the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 has more of that dome shape on the top. I think I remember back when the bag was gaining its popularity in the early 2000s, uh, a lot of people referred to it as the doctor bag. 
In regards to the strap drop, if you were comparing the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 in the bandolier style, the drop is 18.3 inches with a maximum of 21.7 inches. Whereas the Marc Jacobs leather mini tote has a strap drop of 27 inches and a maximum of 57 inches. Here is an organizer that I picked up from Amazon and it's uh, cut standard to fit the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25. I, I have the, the middle insert taken out here. Now, since the bag organizer is designed for the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25, I will say that there's a slight bit of wiggling that's involved when you want to fit it into the Marc Jacobs leather mini tote, but it does fit. And there you have the comparisons of the two.